A new type of airship will use hydrogen to carry cargo around the world. This will help us to use hydrogen instead of gasoline. Airships might seem like a technology from a bygone era, but a startup says their new design could become a crucial cog in the green hydrogen supply chain. Hydrogen is the fuel of the future. It's a clean fuel that doesn't produce harmful emissions. But right now, there's not enough of it. That's because hydrogen is made from fossil fuels. But what if you could make hydrogen from the sun? That's what a company called Solar Hydrogen is trying to do. They are building a prototype hydrogen-producing airship. It will float over a field of solar panels and use the sun's energy to make hydrogen. The airship will be able to carry hydrogen to a place where it can be used. Hydrogen is a type of fuel that can be used in cars and other machines. It is an alternative to gasoline. It has a higher energy density, which means it can hold more energy than gasoline. It can be burned in internal combustion engines, which means it can be burned in machines called cars. It can also be burned with oxygen in a fuel cell to make electricity. Hydrogen is made from water. You can use electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is made from water. You can make it by using electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. But we need to figure out how to get hydrogen to where we need it. For example, if we have a lot of solar energy, we need hydrogen at night. So we need to figure out how to make it and then ship it to where it's needed. A company called H2 Clipper has a great idea to help do this. A company in California wants to build a new kind of airship that will use hydrogen gas to make it fly. The airship will also use hydrogen to power its engine. The company says that thanks to modern aeronautical design, stronger and lighter weight materials, and modern fabrication techniques, their airships will be faster, safer, and more efficient than its predecessors. And the company was recently selected for inclusion in an accelerator run by software major Dassault Systems. The H2 Clipper will travel at about 175 miles per hour. It will go faster than a plane because it is a boat. It will carry more cargo than a plane because it is bigger than a plane. It will travel faster than a boat because it will be able to go on water. Between 1,000 and 6,000 miles, the airship can carry a ton of cargo for as little as $0.177 to $0.247 per mile a quarter of the cost of air freight. And because it can take off and land vertically, it can carry goods straight to where they're needed rather than having to transfer them onto trucks at an airport. One problem is that US law says you can't use hydrogen as a lift gas in airships. The reason is that a long time ago, a long time before we even knew about airships, there was an airship called the Hindenburg. It was filled with hydrogen and it caught fire and it burned up. And that was the end of the airship era. H2 Clipper says that hydrogen fuel is safe because it's stored in a tank, not a tank. Like you have in your car, but a different kind of tank. It's stored in a tank that is specially made for hydrogen. Hydrogen is very small and light and it needs a very big tank to hold it. The tank is made of very strong metal and it's very thick. If you were to put a normal car tank in there, the hydrogen would explode and the tank would be destroyed. But the hydrogen tank is made of very strong metal and it's thick so it's safe. A company has made a new kind of airship. It's called the Airlander 10. It is a big airship that can carry lots of people or a lot of cargo. It is made by a company in Britain. 
The Airlander 10 is different than other airships because it is made of a special kind of material that is lighter than air. It is lighter than air because it has a special kind of material inside it. The Airlander 10 is a new kind of airship that is going to be used for many things. It can be used to carry passengers or cargo. It can also be used to help with things like fighting fires and carrying supplies.